Former President Donald Trump on Tuesday made his first public appearance since Sunday's second apparent assassination attempt against him with an overflow crowd chanting, God bless Trump. And, fight, 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 as U.S. Secret Service agents surrounded the stage to protect the Republican presidential nominee. If I don't win, you will have no auto industry, said Trump. Within two to three years, it'll all be gone. And I know you got a little bit of an increase. It doesn't mean that's the small stuff because it's just a temporary thing, because you will not have any manufacturing plants. China is going to take over all of your business because of the electric car and because they have the material. We don't. What we have is a thing called the gasoline. We have gasoline. We have so much gasoline, we don't know what to do. They don't have gasoline. So why are we making a product that they dominate? They're going to dominate. You will not have a car industry left, not even a little bit of a car industry. The Michigan Town Hall was billed as focusing on the auto industry, a pillar of the battleground state. Trump alleged Democrats would undercut American car manufacturing by pushing for the adoption of electric vehicles and repeated false claims that Chinese automakers are building large factories across the border in Mexico to flood the U.S. with vehicles. Trump has appearances later in the week in New York, Washington, D.C., and North Carolina. And I, I have to say, because I've, I have to, while we're on the subject, because people do like to talk about it, uh, a few days ago we had an incident. I have to say, Secret Service did a hell of a job. If I don't win, you will have no auto industry within two to three years. It'll all be gone. And I know you got a little bit of an increase. It doesn't mean that's the small stuff because it's just a temporary thing because you will not have any manufacturing plants. China is going to take over all of your business because of the electric car and because they have the material. We don't. What we have is a thing called gasoline. We have gasoline. We have so much gasoline, we don't know what to do. They don't have gasoline. So why are we making a product that they dominate? They're going to dominate. You will not have a car industry left, not even a little bit of a car industry. This will be the most fun of any state because we're going to bring back an industry that you can do it. You know, we're going to bring back an industry. And, and mark my words, if for some reason some tragedy happens, because it would be a tragedy beyond the auto business for the whole country, I really believe that. If a tragedy happens and we don't win, there will be zero car jobs, manufacturing jobs. It will all be out of here. And that includes South Carolina. That includes other places that are competitors of yours. You won't be making cars here anymore. You won't be making anything in our country anymore. We're going to bring it all back. But the one, and I say this, and I said it to another state the other night, and I said, this is not a good thing to say to another state. But I said, Michigan's going to be the most fun because you have, you're so set up for greatness. All you need is somebody smart at the top to say, you can't flood our market with cars. You just can't do it. However, if you build your plant in Detroit, or if you build it in Michigan, or if you build it anywhere in the United States for that matter, it seems to be the right location, but we're gonna have more fun. So I'm telling them about Michigan, and I'm saying, you know, the story's getting a little bit long because I'm talking about Michigan. I happen to be in another state, but everybody loved it because they know you. You're recognized for this. We're going to get... Now, they go from paying 100% tariff to paying nothing. All they have to do is build their factory and spend their hundreds of millions of dollars in your state. This will be like taking candy from a baby. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said that, over a hundred battles, have taken place since Monday morning, with the most intense fighting in the Kurakov and Pokrovsk directions. Zelensky also spoke about an, in-death report from our intelligence services on the situation in the ranks of the occupying army, the situation on Russian territory, adding that, the perception of the war in Russia is deteriorating, 
as is the public's view of the results of Putin's policies. We are working to ensure that reality ultimately overcomes Russian state propaganda, he said in his nightly address. Over the weekend Ukraine made a new call on the West to allow it to strike deeper into Russia after a meeting between US and British leaders a day earlier produced no visible shift in their policy on the use of long-range weapons. Як передбачали. Я хочу подякувати кожній нашій бригаді, кожному підрозділу за злагоджені кроки і реальну стійкість. Була також змістовна доповідь розвідки щодо ситуації в армії окупанта та на його території, в його народі. Для нас важливо, що в Росії погіршується сприйняття війни, сприйняття результатів путінської політики. Працюємо над тим, щоб реальність все ж таки подолала російську державну пропаганду.